Hey guys, so the day is the day after I just came back from this trip. Where did I come from? I don't even know. But I just had a three day trip I got off of. Longest three day trip of my life. Anyway, there was a super bad storm, like super bad storm. And I knew there was gonna be a bad storm. And I'm off for the next four days. So I've been like stalking. Oh my fuck, my camera's gonna die. Y'all, I'm going to London. Catch me in London, okay? <laughs> Hi guys, so if you didn't get or gather from the clip before this, y'all, I picked up a London super duper last minute. And yeah, I originally was supposed to be back galley, which is a huge commitment, huge job. Luckily, when I got there though, number nine, he switched with me. So now I'm working coach left hand side aisle. So it's great for me. I love that for me. I just lose out. The galley pay, but it's fine. Having said that, y'all, <laughs> welcome to London. <laughs> so here's a couple notes before I take a nap really quickly. I picked this up super last minute, and I was trying all that yesterday to yesterday. Yes, yeah, like one o'clock in the morning in Dallas. It's three o'clock in the morning in Dallas time. So I kept trying to pick up trips like red flag trips, which is basically a trip that's worth time and a half. And there was a perfect trip. It was one leg the first day, deadly head to, to San Fran. And then you work to Philly the next day. And then the day after that, you dead head back to Dallas. And I tried to pick that up, but it wouldn't let me because I have a seven day legality. So if you didn't know, we cannot fly more than six days in a row. If something happens and we're flying on that seventh day, they end up having to give us a day back. I end up seeing London pop into ETB around like 11.55ish maybe. Not even, it was like 12. The report time for the trip was at 1.55 and I really was not going to do it until I was convinced to go ahead and pick it up. So I went ahead and picked it up. I hurried up, got ready, hurried and packed a bag. And guys, I did not pack properly because it is quite cold here. I mean, it's a nice day. It's just, it's chilly, okay? But, yeah, so I'm here in London. Oh, what plot twist. We were delayed leaving out of London because the plane had just come in from somewhere. I can't remember. And it took forever for the cleaners and the security check. And on top of that, it took forever for catering. And catering internationally, people can't board if you're still catering. So that took forever to a point where it messed up my legality. So now I may, knock on wood, hopefully, be dead heading back to Dallas. <laughs> Which works for everybody because like if I dead head, I don't have to work. The crew gets paid extra from for having a minimum crew fee or whatever, something. I don't know. Look at this little taxi. It's so cute. Look at him. Right there. Yeah, so they get paid extra. I get the deadhead, and yeah, all is well. So we'll see what ends up happening. As of right now, they haven't updated my schedule. I'm gonna go out with one of the my crew members to the, the tower. I don't even know, guys. I don't know, but we're going there. We're gonna see the crown jewels, and we're gonna do some other things. And yeah, that'll be that'll be that. I I'm not particularly tired right now. I did like doze off in the van because it was traffic, so I did take a nap there. And welcome to London! <laughs> We're in London! Guys, I'm trying on my outfit to make sure I don't look stupid because I'm blindly packed for this. But if you didn't know, London, they are very strict, even with the cruise for liquids. So all we can have is a quartz bag. I'm blurry. So all we can have is a quartz size bag with our liquids if we don't want to check our bag so if you don't care you don't care about checking your bag it doesn't matter i don't want to check my bag this time last time i was here i don't i did record actually i'll link it but last time i was here i didn't know i was coming so i had all this liquid stuff but this time i came prepared all my stuff fits in this quartz bag y'all thank god i don't wear a lot of makeup because it didn't take up a lot of space what took up the most amount of space was my bottle of lotion because we're not gonna be ashy out here, okay? And here's my outfit. This is what I'll be wearing today. So as you can see, some, I think these these are either, either mom jeans or boyfriend jeans. I don't know the difference. Some Vans. I have a long sleeve V-neck shirt. 
this cardigan and this polo hat that I bleached and dyed a thousand years ago. And this is going to be the vibe. Right now I'm going to go ahead and take this off, take a shower, freshen up, take a nap because me and my crew member are meeting downstairs until 1230. Although I thought our reservation was for one, so I, I don't know. If we don't end up going, that's fine. That means I saved $44, so hey. I also have to pay my bills real quick before we leave too, so yeah. It's empire, 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 it's I had a great time today, literally really great time. I just got back with, oh goodness guys, I had like one of these little seltzer drinks. But I just got back from hanging out with one of my crew members and yeah, had a great time. Went to the walk around the park. Everything was cool, copacetic. Y'all tell me why I got reassigned. I am now working a later flight to Dallas tomorrow instead of deadheading like I just knew I was going to because I was called from an unknown number and I thought it was another one of my crew members and they got me they got me real good so yeah <laughs> I'm so upset I was so upset but it's okay it's fine I will be number two though tomorrow so good luck to the crew I'm working with it's New York crew so Good luck to them, okay? Because good luck to them. That's all I can say. So this tomorrow will be very interesting trying to do number two and the galley. <laughs> but we're going to get it done. The crew is just going to have to be patient. I will be breaking with the New York based crew. For whatever reason, they're flying to Dallas. I'm going to take a shower, kind of pack up my room. I have to make sure all of my liquid is in that quart size plastic bag. I have to get up tomorrow at 6 6.35 tomorrow. My arm's already set though, so that's good. Yeah. Had to be downstairs at 7.35, so. Hey guys, so much stuff happened early this morning. It's crazy. So, as of last night, I was working a later flight because I got reassigned. I picked up the phone because it was an unmarked number. So, I ended up picking up the phone at dinner last night, answering it, and yeah. So... Y'all, this morning, I woke up at like 2 something, I think, in the morning. I think it was just jet lag is what caused that. I was up from like 2 to like 8 this morning. And a lot of things happened. <laughs> My flight ended up delaying. We were originally supposed to leave, I think, around 10. We ended up delaying till 1.13 departure or 1.05 departure. So that's happening. And then on top of that, the flight that I was supposed to be on originally work they ended up delaying till tomorrow so they're not leaving until tomorrow well my number two who i was hanging out with all day yesterday who ended up trading me positions because originally he was nine i was two we traded he ended up picking up the phone this morning thinking it was somebody calling to tell him that their flight canceled and they're going to be working tomorrow he picked up the phone and now he's working the flight back today as well so I'm like, bro, literally, you literally was with me yesterday when it happened to me. And you literally did the same thing. Mind you, everybody on these crews are seniors. So, like, he knew better. Just how I knew better. But, yeah, sometimes you get got. And he got got as well. After that, they were apparently, because I'm in a group chat with a couple of people. They were, they were calling people's rooms and things because they were trying to get my crew filled up. So, they ended up getting two more people and you need you need to have 10 people in order to fly this plane out and so for a minute it was looking like well we didn't have 10 but apparently we got them they were calling my room phone non-stop i didn't know who it was so i just unplugged my room phone eventually everything like calmed down after we figured out where everybody was gonna be at and i ended up falling asleep 
and my van time now is at 10 o'clock it's nine something yeah that's pretty much it it's been a very active morning the moral of the story is they don't care who you are or what your seniority is you can get got so don't pick up the phone <laughs> don't pick up any unknown numbers save numbers from crew members that you get their numbers for the layover save their numbers and don't pick up any unknown numbers also, stuff isn't just going on here with us in Dallas. It is a madhouse, y'all. Dallas has had very horrible weather all week. Our operations is not keeping up with the horrible weather in Dallas. Y'all, people, crews are being stuck. They're being left. They, like, it's so ridiculous to a point. Dallas, DFW is a parking lot. There are so many planes there. It's taking, like, three and a half hours or an hour and a half, I probably exaggerate, like an hour and a half for people who have landed to even get on a gate. So it's crazy. People have been on hold with tracking and scheduling for like up to six hours. It's a hot mess. It is a hot mess. So when we land in Dallas, now it's gonna be around 5 p.m. Originally, originally I was supposed to land around 11, but then since I got reassigned, it was supposed to be around two, and now it's supposed to be a five. Y'all, it's supposed to be thunderstorming around the time we land in Dallas, so hopefully everything's figured out because having a 10 hour flight, then having to sit on the ground on the tarmac for another hour and a half is wild. That is craziness to me, and I hope I don't have to do it. But we'll see what ends up happening though if I'll end up being number two because since my number two from the flight that I originally worked is on here, we're going to try and see if we can trade positions, if they'll allow us to do it. I don't know. We'll see. So I just got this note under my door saying that my new van time is going to be 10.35 a.m. It's currently 9.50, so I think what I'm going to do is walk over to the train station and grab some empanadas. Cause we had some beef empanadas yesterday. They were so good. And like I'm $10 off from spending my max amount. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that. Cause I'm pretty sure this flight is full now because the flight that was supposed to be this morning delayed till tomorrow morning. So more than likely people went ahead and hopped on this flight. Let's look. Like, I'll be surprised if we have empty seats, honestly. This can't be right. Capacity 216, booked 110. Like, people haven't jumped onto this flight. Well, I guess they're going out on an empty flight, so that's good at least. Well, yeah. I guess that's it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, what a day. What a day. What a day. What a day. Y'all, I made it. Oh, hold on. Oh, trying to get my Crocs. I've made it back to Dallas, y'all. We didn't have no extremely long wait on the tarmac trying to get a gate. So that was everything for me. And yes, 558. It was a very, very quick deep planning process because nobody was really on the plane. Like the flight was fairly empty, and I love that for us. I took my break in first class and i've never taken i've never sat in those seats those seats are immaculate okay i love them everything what else the crew i gotta say i gotta say new york crew definitely like as far as london even though my crew going to london they weren't bad everything was cool but that New York crew, the way they even do things is so much better, I think, and easier than Dallas, but that's just my opinion. That is just my opinion. Where is my phone at? Oh, here it is. Yeah, so I'm back home. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you are a flight attendant, y'all do not pick up the phone. Don't pick up any unknown numbers, and save your crew members' numbers that you get save their phone numbers because i still would have been in dallas right or london but that would have been a very expensive trip and i'm glad i came back today too and the flight was empty it was just chill the whole vibe was very chill so yeah i will see you all later on my next trip all right okay bye